guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of Yamada Kun. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Like. Oh, we're getting this. <laughs> I'm screaming right now. <laughs> like, I love the fact that we got to see his POV and it was just so good. We got when you just have a crush on a guy and you just want to start a conversation. Damn. The big ol' right <laughs> Oh. Because she likes you. Oh.
Oh my god. I mean, it makes sense because I've done the same thing. <laughs> Just don't wake her up. Damn, babe, you can sleep through anything. I mean, I ain't mad at it. I thought I do the same thing, but oh. Can you imagine if that got stuck in her mouth? <laughs> uh, uh, Oh, it was so cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's Momo. Oh, shut up. <laughs> That's our ex. Well, stop it, much, bruh. I mean, maybe this is one of his girlfriend on social media. Most guys do and don't want to do that. Oh. Oh, nope, she really doesn't. She's fine.
Okay. I still think he's an ass. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so she wants to bam. <laughs> ah, it does. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god. <laughs> But <laughs> just being nice. The Skulls Festival was a plan? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Yes, and this is the next girl that's going to be in a Kanye way. She gives me plain Jane vibes, but just almost also to herself. But yeah, she seems like she is going to be the next girl in a kind of way to be with Yamada. I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. We have to have... It's not that easy. It's never that easy because Yamada is just so good looking and every girl will instantly fall in love with them, me included-ish. 
that, you know, you have the harem, you have the one true Wafu, Akane, and then, you know, the, the, the harm's over here like, no, I, I still want you, or I want to date you or something. Akane's just over here, you know, smiling, happy, be like, you know, no, no, just wait, you know, I'll be here when you're ready, you know, you, it's not time. Be like, just come on, you just want to cut it and be like, back the fuck up. It was interesting to see her ex-boyfriend come back. I mean, because I, me, a little bit of me was expecting him, like, <clears throat> after what, the first two or three episodes, not to really show up again. But, um, there he was, out of all the people. I, like I said, I was expecting Momo <clears throat> to be at the door and be like, oh, hey, how you doing? Da -da 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 -da, you know, hey. Be like, hey, where's Akane? And be like, oh, she's asleep. The whole time. Oh, it did. But it was sweet. They're like, I understand none of that. <laughs> yes. Yes. Huh? Is that a good idea? <laughs> Whoa, let's hope there ain't no OP boss of a killer or what it. Hi. <laughs> So how'd it go? Well, uh, uh, it's a good thing that she, <laughs> she got a laptop fix because imagine, imagine. <laughs> oh my God. The only thing I can really compare it to is, okay, as someone who still plays The Sims on and off, but I play just regular basic ass Sims, um, I have friends who will, like, literally mod the crap out of the game. And, and yeah, that enhances it. Like, it makes it better, like, so much because you can do so many things. But my biggest issue is, like, all that storage. That's a lot of storage. And if you do not have the greatest computer, um, and you play in that thing, like, imagine when we all... I can say my five does this. My four, my old four does this too. So like when I was playing Genshin for the first time on PlayStation 4, uh, that thing, <laughs> an hour, maybe two into me playing, all you would hear is the fan just like, <laughs> just wind it up. And instantly that's what I think about with everybody who has mod the hell out of Sims. <laughs> the, the laptop is like, Overdrive! Like, oh my god, this is so much. <laughs> so, just imagine if she did not get that computer. <laughs>
you be hearing like, I'd be like, oh damn, like, but that's a nice breeze. <laughs> oh my god, but like, okay, I feel like seeing Yamada's POV of what we saw <laughs> essentially <clears throat> last week is him officially like, uh, and a lot of people have stated. This is, like, kind of my second time with him and, like, really thinking about themselves, like, damn, I'm really falling for this girl and such. And she's just so sweet. Yeah, she's a little klutzy and she doesn't really, you know, Akane, I love her too so freaking much. She does give me the airhead vibes and such and we all are secretly like that and such. Um... But I think that's what he really loves about her and, you know, everything else. I mean, it was also sweet that, yes, her ex-boyfriend came along, dropped off the bento boxes, even though, yeah, Yamada himself also had stuff that he needs to return to her. And <laughs> she opens the door and she's overheard the conversation and makes you wonder, okay, when did you wake up? How long were you up for? Did you hear <laughs> combo? And the fact is that he was like, I'm going to stand and keep my promise and just say, oh, these just popped up instead of saying, hey, your ex came along. Because usually uh, with something like that, that will stir something up for us girls. I can't speak for all of us, but for some of us, um, it does bring back either you know good bad memories and everything else in between and such um and then I always hate or you know what I'm not gonna say hey I'm gonna say dislike dislike excuse me oh my god um essentially uh, somebody said it on a tiktok and I was like oh my god they're so right um when us girls we say we miss them and, and then it's like especially if they if a guy treated you or a girl who, who knows treats you like crap and be like oh what do you miss this is that and the third like he he she didn't do this for you that for you whatever so is that what mm, no find somebody better it's always okay regardless but it was a good episode so freaking sweet but of course once again no matter whatever Whoever, any type of girl who has a crush on Yamada, he he just doesn't see him. Because I get it. Gaming is his thing. That's all he freaking cares about. And, and a little bit of Akane. But still, he, he doesn't see anything else. He sees gaming and Akane. But all these other girls, you, you can't have them. That's all I have to say about that. But other than that, guys, that is our reaction view towards episode 7 of Yamada Kun. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 8. Bye, guys.